is major, major concern is this. Show your teeth. Look at that discrepancy. Uh, it's about 24 millimeters of horizontal discrepancy and about 16, 15 millimeters of vertical discrepancy. Distraction osteogenesis is a technique wherein we have grown new bone in this upper jaw. So there is a cut that I did this way and then we stretch the two half of the jaw together. So we've got bone deposition in these areas. Okay, sir, so in the scan bhi mene dekh liya hai. In ka jo problem list hai kafi hai. Thik hai, mein aapko ek ek se bataunga kya kya problem hai. उसके बाद आप मेरे को बताएंगे कि आपको ये सब कुछ सही कराना है या कैसा कराना है लेकिन मैं जो जो है प्रॉब्लम मैं आपको बता दूंगा एक एक करके तो सबसे मेजर प्रॉब्लम है इनका अपर जॉ में ये ग्रोथ बहुत कम हुआ है इसको हम बोलते हैं क्लेफ्ट मैक्सिलरी हाइपोप्लेसिया स्कैन में देखो तो मोर देन टू सेंटीमीटर्स कमती है ग्रोथ टू सेंटीमीटर्स मोर देन कमती है एग्जैक्ट मेजरमेंट करेंगे आपको बताएंगे कितना एग्जैक्ट है लेकिन मेजर प्रॉब्लम है अपर जॉ ग्रोथ दूसरा प्रॉब्लम है इनका वीपीआई वीपीआई मतलब जो बात करने में होता है इसको वेलो फेरेंजर इनकॉम्पिटेंस बोलते हैं जो अब अंदर जो सॉफ्ट पैलेट है इसका मूवमेंट नहीं है सही बहुत रिजिड है और बड़े बड़े टॉन्सिल्स हैं इसके वजह से ये मूवमेंट नहीं होता तो इसकी वजह से इनकी बातचीत में क्लैरिटी नहीं आ पा रही इसको वी बोलते हैं ये साइनस के अंदर वाला पॉलिप है और ये गैप जो दिख रहा है ये बोन ड्राफ्टिंग का गैप है जी। देखो क्लियरली दिख रहा है गैप गैप नोज का सिक्स मंथ के बाद में ही हो पाएगा आफ्टर द जॉ जब नोज होएगा तब आपका वीपीआई भी हो पाएगा जो आपने बता, हमने बताया बातचीत का अंदर का प्रॉब्लम है वो नोज के साथ हो पाएगा रिकंस्ट्रक्टिव सर्जरी फॉर दिस यंग बॉय ही फ्यू सर्जरीज बिफोर यू वॉज बॉर्न विद क्लेफ लेन पैलिज कॉट मेजर ग्रोथ इश्यूज we're going to have you have a look at his issues first his major major concern is this show your teeth look at that discrepancy uh it's about 24 mm of horizontal discrepancy and about 16 15 mm of vertical discrepancy enough and you can see because of that his whole face is a clear concave deformity looks like as if the lower jaw is forwards but as per our scans and as per our measurements we have deduced that the lower jaw is fine it just has this upper jaw malar bones and the whole complex is really not grown at all over the last 10 15 years there's also a facial asymmetry that you can see it's not very pronounced but it is present we're not addressing that today we're basically addressing this severe issue with the upper jaw we're going to be doing what is called as an anterior maxillary distraction this means that we're going to make his own body develop new bone with the help of patient specific custom made fabricated device which we're going to show you now open karo so if you look inside you got some wires and screws which are tooth bone sitting in the roof of the mouth this is the device that is going to be activated four days precisely after the surgery we're going to go do it now and then that device will just literally bring the front part of the upper jaw forwards and downwards so 45 degrees so we're going to get both vertical and horizontal increase in dimension in this part of the face keep following us we're going to try and take videos of him every day or every other day we've given him a time period of 22 days maybe 20 days before all of this is going to be done and before he's good enough to head back to his home in Rajasthan thank you So this guy who is in his late teens around 20 you can see he had a very severe hypoplasia 
meaning this part of the jaw had not grown both horizontally and vertically and so that was causing this kind of a deformity. I'm going to show you someone and that's him right now. I'm going to tell you what was done for him. So we did what is called as a double distraction. We did distraction osteogenesis. Distraction osteogenesis is a technique wherein we have grown new bone in his upper jaw. So there is a cut that I did this way and then we stretch the two half of the jaw together. So we've got bone deposition in these areas, which has basically brought the nose, the lip, and also the teeth forward. Right? And that's increased his projection, right? and also the profile. Right, so that's what is being done. So this is a very useful technique for especially uh, patients who have hypoplasia, either because of cleft, or because of some other growth issues, or sometimes even if it's because of an accident, we can grow the upper jaw without actually cutting the jaw and putting it forward with the help of plates and screws. And it's very, very essential to do this, especially for kids who are at a growing age, because then this improves the speech of the patient also, which is a very, very important factor. All right, so this is the first scan, and this was before. And then I'm going to go back to the normal view. We're going to close these two. And I'm going to make these bigger. Okay, so you can now see the two images. How there has been a huge improvement in the position of the jaw. And you can see that there is a gap that has been created, as I explained, which wasn't there in the before. So that's the amount of new bone that we've achieved. I'm going to turn the view now and we're going to try and quantify that movement that we've achieved. You can see here now, so this is the two teeth. There was no gap in between. And now it's the same cut section. So you can see that the sinus size has increased. Uh, there is an extra gap here about 14 millimeters in the top uh, at the base uh, of the sinus of the top of the root and it's about probably 11 or so uh, a little lower down so this means that that much millimeter of new bone we have created for him um, yeah so between the teeth is the root level it's more than here because of the shape of the upper jaw but you can see the huge difference here there is nothing and there's this all jaw that's part of the nose and everything that's come up. And we can also move down further. And you can see. <clears throat> so see there's no gap between these two teeth. And you see there's a gap now. And likewise there's no gap here. And there's a gap here. And there's a gap in this area, in this area, all across the upper jaw. So that's where we're doing the distraction. That's where the new bone is going to come in. That's where this treatment is way superior than the conventional orthognathic surgery, wherein the jaw is just cut and moved forward. And also when you do that kind of a conventional treatment, it very often adverses the, adversely affects the speech of the patient. The speech doesn't improve, in fact, it worsens. But with this kind of a treatment, the speech improves, the position of the teeth improves, the facial profile, the facial proportions improve and also even the vertical and the horizontal height. More the horizontal, but to a certain extent the vertical height as well. Mm -hmm.